Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to do a little video talking about this brand new insert pack I have for my, um, I think this is the 1610 or 1650 from Pelican. Now I had the old Pelican case uh, top divider where you would like, you know, it had like the Velcro and it had like the, the middle section which you can put like pens and stuff in. And I'm gonna be honest, I think it was a piece of shit. <laughs> um, to put it as blunt as possible, I think it was awful. And I had seen this online and I was really intrigued because of a couple reasons. The main one being that it had these pouch design and this really nice um, basic pouch design where you could easily throw things in. They were Velcro and uh, you could, you know, pop things in and out pretty quick and easy. And you could see things that were all bigger too, like the Pelican one, the zippers were all just crap. Um, yeah, so this is really cool. And I want to just kind of talk a little bit about how I have it set up. What I have in here, it might be a little bit hard to see because the reflection, um, unfortunately, but I'm going to talk about each thing and I'll probably pull it out so you can see it. Overall, um, this thing is really easy to install. It holds up pretty well. There's Velcro. Um, I'm not too worried. I mean, if you were to puncture one of these, maybe, but these are pretty thick plastic. So I've been pretty happy with those. The other cool thing, which I haven't even done yet, is um, they have Velcro on the front so you can actually label stuff. So at some point, I'm going to make... I don't know if I'm gonna take Velcro and just put tape on the back side and then just like label what it is. And then that way I can put it on here and I can see like, all right, this is this, this is that, whatever it is. Um, that'll make things really super simple. I'm gonna see if I can get custom ones made where I could make like the dimensions and make a Velcro piece. So that way it's way even easier to read because my handwriting is not good. Um, so we'll start in the uh, top left here. So this kind of has um, some quick release plates and things like that in here. There's also a white card. Um, white balance card there's like white and black and there's also some uh, mounting tools so um, I have a bunch of if I can pull them out here sorry I just don't want to reach across too much so I have some mounting threads and some um, some studs and things like that so this is kind of like the utility one um, it's sort of the messiest one but it's filled with a lot of that and on the opposite side there's actually something quite similar but I'll talk about that in a minute um, this is again, mainly quick release plates and some mounting stuff like that. Also an extra lens cap or two, uh, right below that is SDI cables. So I have a couple different SDI cables. I have some, uh, uh, thin SDI cables. There's like a thicker black one. Um, and there's just a couple, there's also a coiled one in there. So if I'm using the steady cam that we have, or if I'm using, you know, some different rigs or whatever, and I need a couple SDI cables, that is there as well. So those are super handy. Uh, below that, I'm not gonna pull them out just because they're out there, are a bunch of NPF batteries. So some Sony NPF batteries. And then here next to it, I have the smaller battery. So the Canon, or excuse me, the um, Panasonic GH5 batteries and the uh, G7 batteries and some other smaller NPF batteries. So batteries in the bottom. Up above here is, this is all for the tentacle sync time code stuff. So right now I'm actually using one of these, the tentacle sync, um, uh, I can't remember the exact name. It's a sync E devices. I think they are. That's on the camera right now, but I also am using the tentacle sync E, the brand new lav mic 32 bit float. So tell me what you think of that right now. This is the first check of it. Uh, we're gonna have a review coming soon, but, um, so in here will be, there's two of these tentacle sync devices <laughs> and then also two of the tentacle sync E lobs. So all of them and their charger cables or some of the other cables that go to, for instance, the um, Zoom H6. So if I'm using XLR and I wanna use it, I can use these. So basically any time code related stuff, uh, and basically any tentacle sync related stuff goes in there. Uh, above it is the lav portion. Now, right now, all I have I kind of decided if I wanted to put the, the tentacle sync E's in here, if I wanted to put just the DR10L, but uh, right now it's the DR10L and the DR10L accessories. So there's some lobs, there's some extra um, little clip-on thingies in there. So it's kind of all dedicated to the lav mic. I don't know, I haven't decided how I want to do each one, which one I want to put where, so I'll decide at some point. <laughs> um, Right here is a couple power cables, and then also the brand new thing I have, which is the um, uh, micro converter, the bi-directional SDI to HDMI. Now, this thing is super handy. I'm gonna talk about it more in another video where I'll talk about the live setup because using the uh, ATEM Mini ISO, I need to use this. So now I can convert my URSA or any other SDI camera 
to HDMI and or you know back. So um, in there I have the power for that and then a couple uh, power cables for some of the tentacle sync ones. So this is sort of where all the power cables live, which actually I think this power cable and this power cable are supposed to be up in there. So power cables and some any other like power accessories go up in there. Uh, below this, uh, this is the Deity Connect um, wireless lav system, all of the cables. So the lav mics and the cables and other audio cables. So basically any audio cable is going to go in here. Um, not related to the tentacle sync. So this is just audio cables. And then below that is the actual DAD Connect system. Actually, um, I think this is the, yep. So I have the antennas in here, which actually I don't need to keep in there. So I'll just take those out. Um, so in here is the, or actually, no, I actually need those. Whoops, that's why. Uh, so this is the DAD Connect system. This is a little live and, uh, and, and, you know, lax. So this is the DD Connect. We are doing review on this, we're working on it. There was a couple of hiccups, so we wanted to make sure we had that right. But um, this is the DD LAV Connect system. So this is great for using um, wireless LAVs when you want to go live into the URSA. So for instance, let's say I was doing a live stream and I had, and I actually did this, I used the DD Connect system to do a live stream from the URSA to the A10 Mini Pro and have audio already synced up live from the camera. So that was a really cool way to do that, easy, simply. Um, so the DD Connect system is awesome. Up here, we have a bunch of mounting and rigging. So some rails, a bunch of screws, um, a magic arm kind of thing from small rigs, some lens support and stuff like that. So this is pretty much all the lens support and sort of articulating arms and that kind of gear up here. Uh, below that, which we did a video on, is the Hollyland 400S Pro. This is the um, wireless video kit, so Hollyland was kind enough to send that over, and they're actually gonna be sending over a wireless lav kit soon too, so I might put them head to head with the Deity, it might be kind of fun. But, so the Hollyland's in there, and then down here is a couple of power options. So we have, actually there's an ex extra XLR cable, but there's also a, um, Sony, if I can get it out of here. It's a dummy Sony MPF battery to PTAP or DTAP, whatever you want to call it. I can't remember the name. Um, this is great for using something off of a V-mount battery to a dummy Sony battery. And then I also have, which is like a, it's actually good for like the Steadicam, um, a splitter. So if I need to use several different PTAPs or DTAPs, whichever one it is, um, I can tap off one and then use a bunch. So, so yeah, this has been a pretty laid back look. Um, I'd like to do a video talking about the rest of my case sometime because I do have a lot of cool other stuff going on in the case and we just picked up some new um, filters from CinePax. So CinePax sent over a ton of new filters. So definitely stay tuned for that video coming soon. Uh, I'm gonna kind of do a video all about the filters I have, but I've been really happy with this thing and I'm gonna leave it down in the link in the description below. I believe it's from Camera Essentials. Um, it you know wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but overall I was really happy with it and I think it does exactly what I need it to do, and it creates just a much more organized and neater way to bring a bunch of camera stuff with you. And you know, in our case, we're usually doing a lot of one-man band sort of stuff or a small crew, so being able to have the camera and all the lenses and the batteries and the audio setup and the filters and all of this stuff in one neat organized case is super handy. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.